Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Skateboarder. Today's another episode of Bayani Talk. Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Skateboarder, and today's another episode of Bayani Talk. And today we're talking about keeping it fair. Why every rule, every rule should be followed. Now, before we get into that, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification button so you're alerted the next time we drop a video. And I want to say a special thank you to everybody who continuously support my videos and continuously support my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you on behalf of my students and my family. Maraming maraming salama. Thank you very, very much. So we're continuing on with this tournament series. So today we're going to talk about keeping it fair, why every rule should be followed. So I will admit... Some of these rules are very restrictive. Some of these rules were like, there is no rules in, in a street fight. I get that. I'm 100% on board with you on that one. But this is a competition. This is where, again, we start to differ between, the, between what tournaments are. They're not a life and death situation. But it is an assertion of one's skill. Okay? So let me put it this way. So one of the rules in GSBA is there's no takedowns. Now... In a street fight, if you can do, if you can take a person down, by all means, do a takedown. If you want to do a throw, by all means, do a throw. But in tournaments, right, that is not that is not necessary, because the idea here is to be able to show off your skills as a stick fighter, as even if you're doing a knife as a knife fighter, right? Now, if I mean, it's just saying like this. It's like if you were in a judo tournament where you do a lot of takedowns and you don't do takedowns. In your in your in your in your competition, then is it really a judo tournament? Is it really a takedown tournament? <clears throat> or the idea of ground fighters? If you don't go on the ground, is it still a ground fighting thing? No, it's not. That's the same thing with FMA. With Filipino martials, we want to see your mastery of the weapon, the stick, the knife, whatever you want to call it. That's what we want to see. We don't. I mean, you know, yes, we can take people down. Yes, there is some FMA style that does dumog or ground fighting. But again, it's like, it's like asking a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to show off their stick fighting skills. I'm not saying that there is no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that don't know how to do stick fighting. But that's not, the, that's, not, that's not what the goal of the competition is. The goal of a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competition is to show off how great their skills are on the ground. Just like in FMA, we want to show off the skills and how great we are with the tool in our hand, whether it's a single stick, double stick, or a knife, or in even some cases, bunkau. So that's, that's why we, we, every rule should be followed, because we want to make sure, we want to see the, the FMA skills, not, nothing else beyond that. I've, I've, been, I've watched tournaments where people blatantly, blatantly ignore the rules, but that's just the name of the game. Now, I've always been one of those people that always believe that you should never leave it to the judge's hands, but that's another video. So until, I mean, so what I'm just trying to say here is there, should you follow the rules? Yes. If you don't like the rules, then in petition to have it changed. And if you still don't like it, then start your own tournament. Nobody's stopping you from doing it. If you want to do more takedowns, I don't see why not. Heck, we'll probably participate in that as well. But that's just, that's just our opinion. As, that's just my opinion as to why every rule should be followed. I don't know. Do you agree? If you do, if you do or you don't, please comment down below. But all I ask is you please keep it civil. Uh, and don't forget again to hit like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification button so you're alerted the next time we drop a video. Until then, my name is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamer Door. Peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks.